have any things. They have fake but paper and a dollar. Oh. Should we go see? So yesterday, Grayson had to go to the dentist. And we were going to get a crown, but the cavity ended up being bigger than what they thought. So they ended up just pulling the tooth instead. So we had a surprise tooth lost. And so we put it under his pillow last night for the tooth fairy. And Grace said he took a little sneak peek and he thinks he might have seen something under his pillow. <laughs> Do you think the tooth fairy came, Avery? Let's go see. Should we go see? Yeah, let's go see. <gasps> I want Porter to be the first Wait, one. Wait, let, let Grayson check, okay? Because it's his tooth. Can you just watch? Where is it? Okay, go ahead, Gray. Let's go see. Let's see. Avery's like, yeah, you forgot me. Oh. Uh, first, he <gasps> wrote this letter. Dear Grayson, I heard that the dentist pulled your tooth out. Because you are so hope I... Because they're so brave. I gave you two dollars. What? Did you get two? There's one. Is there another one? <gasps> what? <laughs> now I have three dollars. Oh my gosh. I hope you better feel so. Keep washing and flossing your teeth every day. Don't let mommy forget. Love. To oh my gosh. Instead of one dollar like she usually gives. She gives two dollars. She gave you two dollars because that one the dentist had to pull out. Are you putting it with your other one? <laughs> He's got a little stash of dollars. He used his first ever dollar on a pack from if I get dollar spot. Hasn't spent his other dollars yet, huh? How we look? Now I have three dollars. Woohoo! Mama, how I how I have lose? I have lose no. No, not yet. You have to turn five, and then you'll start to lose teeth. Grayson, I have to five, and then I can lose my teeth. Porter, guess what? What? Last night, Grayson had a rash all over, like you did. So mommy took him to the hospital, like she took you, and he gets to drink bubblegum medicine every day, just like you. Can you believe that? I can't believe that every day. Yeah, how are you feeling, Gray? Love Port's so jealous. Oh, I bet he will be jealous. Why? Because he loves bubblegum medicine, don't you, Port? Bobby. Yeah. I want you to read the store pop medicine. Okay. How are you feeling, Gray? <laughs> uh, good. Good? Yeah? No, no pain? Feeling all right? And I get no school today. No school. Yeah, so yesterday was oh, no a school. doozy of a day. I meant to record it as I went throughout the day. I already knew it was going to be a busy day, but I never got the chance to pull out the camera. But I need to do a recap for you guys because it was wild. But I have to get Avery right now because she is very grumpy. I left her in her room. Ready, Avery? This is Avery's favorite toy. This is like, I got this for her birthday. It's a picnic basket shape sorter, and I just put it in for her and she tops them in. Good job, Avery. Good girl. Are you playing with the shapes? She loves it. Hasn't quite figured out like putting them in, but she does know how to tap them. Okay, and then you gotta open it. Can you open it? Open. Open. Four One, two, three, four. Avery's been doing a lot better with her sitting. I can now walk away from her and she will stay sitting, which is a big milestone. She used to just fall over as soon as I would leave her. Still not moving though. No crawling and no walking, but... She's just doing it on her own timeline, right? Say hi, Porter. Hi. 
What or what color are you supposed to wear to school today? It's black. Black. Today is black day at school. Every month is a different color. Last month it was white. There's been a blue month, a green month, a purple month. This is the last month of school, and so the last color he's wearing is black. He actually didn't have any black, so we had to go into the 4T bin to find a black shirt so he could wear it to school today. Huh? Like that. Yeah. Like Avery's shirt. Um, Avery's shirt's not black. So uh, recapping yesterday, like I said, it was a crazy day. We'll see if Avery will let me talk because she's kind of grumpy right now. I already knew yesterday was going to be crazy because both boys had dentist appointments. Porter had his just um, biannual checkup. Grayson was going in to get a crown because he had cavities. They couldn't fix it with fillings. They had to do a crown. So my mom came over to help babysit because I had Avery and my niece at my house. Went and took Porter to his appointment. I got one picture of him. He wore the cool shades. He loved it. Absolutely loved it. Watched Bluey on the TV and um, they cleaned his teeth. They said he looks great, has no cavities. They tried to do x-rays, but he's just so little. He was too squirmy. So like they didn't get that great of a picture, but they'll try again next time. They did say that it does look like he's starting to have a crossbite. They said it could be genetics, which I found out later. Anthony had a crossbite when he was younger, um, but they said it also could be due to him sucking his fingers. Both of my boys are big finger suckers. I had to use the nail polish on Grayson to make his fingers taste gross. I might have to use that for Porter. But basically they said we really need to crack down on making Porter stop sucking his fingers because it's affecting his bite. So that is what we're going to work on for Porter. But other than that, he's doing great. And they said we don't have to go back until November. So that was great. Rush back home, got Grayson off the bus. I had a meeting for my part-time job that I did real fast. Then I rushed out and took Grayson back to the same dentist. I was like, I'm back again um, to go get his crown. And I was a little nervous because they said because it's a crown, they'd have to numb him. When he got cavities um, a couple years ago, they have like a laser now and they just do it with minimal um, invasion. But because this was a crown, it was going to be a lot more involved. We got there and it actually had been a couple months since we were last there with Grayson so they took updated x-rays just to make sure like everything looked the same and when they took the updated x-rays they actually found out that the cavity had gotten a lot bigger and a lot longer and they were really worried how close to the nerve and root it was and so they just kind of decided right then and there that instead of doing a crown they were just going to pull the tooth um, that way it would be a lot faster, it was cheaper, and um, they were worried about being able to get so close to the nerve without like damaging things. So it was kind of like a whirlwind. I was not expecting that, and I was kind of nervous because tooth extraction, like I, I don't have any experience with that. I wasn't sure like how, I, I was just expecting it to be a lot of like really traumatic. Like they're taking a whole tooth out. But actually, it was really easy. They put laughing gas on Grayson, so he really was fine. They did numb him, but he did great with the shot in his mouth. And then after that, um, all they did was just like pull and wiggle the tooth, and then it came out. It was actually really, really fast. The longest part of it was waiting for the numbness to work from the shot and to like have his mouth go to sleep. That was the longest part. They ended up putting a spacer where the old tooth used to be to keep his other teeth apart so that there leaves space for the new tooth to come down. So he has that now. He is a little sore from where it came out. Um, we were told to just do soft foods for a couple days. Um, he actually didn't want to eat anything yesterday when he came home and um he's been taking some tylenol just for some pain and then um the hardest part is they said he can't use a straw for two days because they're worried about dry sockets um but grayson loves drinking out of a straw he really doesn't like drinking things out of like a regular cup say hi gray hi 
Next, do the outling and the ramp. What are you building, Gray? I'm building a Rubik's Cube house. Mm -hmm. Now, do the outline and the ramp, of course. How are you feeling, Gray? Good. Gray, why aren't you at school? Friday, I go. Yeah, you, you, because you're sick. So now I have to take bubble gum medicine just like for my poor dad a few weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, um, Avery was getting grumpy, so I cut off the camera earlier. And I kind of forget where I cut off, but I think I was talking about the dentist. They took Gray's tooth out. It really wasn't that bad, um, and they put a spacer there. They showed me how to take care of it. Basically, I just need to make sure I brush the sides of each tooth and then, like, the metal spacer, and they're just going to watch it, and then once they see that the um, permanent tooth is coming in, they'll take the spacer out. So super easy. It seems like this was a lot easier to be done to just take the tooth out instead of trying to save the tooth, and thankfully it was just a baby tooth. And he has another one coming in, unlike me, where I had to get a crown because I have all my permanent teeth in. So anyway, we did that. It took about an hour and a half. And they gave Gray, like, tons of prizes. He picked Mulan to watch. They have TVs with Disney+. Plus, So we were jamming out to Mulan soundtrack. Has really good songs. Which, side note, I had no idea that Donny Osmond voiced the main dude in the movie the shang Li or whatever his name is i had no idea and i saw it on a tiktok the other day anyway so that was all good they gave us like some post-op instructions like i said gray's really sad he likes to drink out of a straw um he can't for two days so we've been just like using a water bottle he seems to like the clothes tight um small openings so we've been working with that it'll be nice probably saturday when he can use his straw again we came home and funny enough we came home my mom was watching porter and the two little babies came home and porter was watching mulan too so we were watching at the dentist and then we came home and porter had mulan on too wasn't that funny gray yeah. so gray just took it easy the rest of the day which they said like take it easy um, give him soft foods. He didn't even want to eat. He just like fell asleep on the couch for a while. And then we had him go up in his room and take a rest. And then he actually ended up falling asleep and taking a nap. So I like bathed the other kids. Anthony's been working on our outside of our house because we're like doing construction out there, fixing this stuff, which is a whole nother issue. I, I just feel like right now it's just one thing after another. Like Anthony and I just need a break because it's just been... A lot of not so great things happening. But anyway, got the kids down to bed and then I went to go check on Grayson and he actually ended up waking up and he was like super sweaty, which was strange. But I thought like, oh, maybe he was just like under the covers and it was like really warm in his room. It had been a really hot day. It was like a high of 82 that day. But then, like, he wasn't, he took his sweatshirt off. He was wearing a sweatshirt, took his sweatshirt off while he was sleeping. And he sat up in bed, and he had, like, welts all over his body. And he was itching like crazy. And so then I was like, oh, no, not again. Because Porter had the same thing. He all of a sudden had, like, his rash didn't look like Grayson's, but it was itchy, and I had to take him to the doctor. So I was just like, you know... It was like 7.30 at that time, I think. And I looked and the urgent care was open till 10. I was like, we should just go. So I took him to go see Anthony to see what he thought. And he was like, yeah, you should take him in. I mean, it was just like big and small welts all over his body. The worst was on his stomach. So I quickly like got a shirt on gray, got our shoes on and we went. Thankfully, there's an urgent care five minutes away. So we went, checked in, and the strangest thing is he said he didn't have a sore throat. He said he had zero pain, but he had all these welts all over his body. So they were kind of stumped, like, what could this be? The doctor came in and looked at him, lifted up his shirt, and she said it was hives. And I said, oh, okay, so he's allergic to something then? And she said, well, not necessarily. Sometimes hives can be caused by a viral infection. It could be caused by stress. There's a lot of different causes for hives. It's not so much 
allergies. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I did mention like he did have a brother a couple of weeks ago who did have strep. It has been several weeks. I disinfected, but I do know it's running around the school, although he does say he has no sore throat. So maybe he doesn't have it. So the doctor looked at his valve and she was like, eh, it's a little red, but it's not like that bad. But they decided to just test him for strep just in case. Test him for strep, came back in, positive. It was positive for strep. So he has strep throat, just like Porter. Different symptoms, which is wild. He has no sore throat and he got hives. Porter got textbook scarlet fever uh, rash from strep throat. His looked totally different. Grayson got hives. Apparently, strep throat can also cause hives. Great. So they gave him some Claritin for the itching and then gave him amoxicillin. So now he's on amoxicillin for the next 10 days. Well, nine days now because it's the next day. And um, yeah, he's contagious for 24 hours. Well, I think they said 12 hours, but like 24 with a fever. He doesn't have a fever. Um, but we kept him home from school today. This is the first day all year that he's missed. He did get sent home at the very beginning because he had like a bad cough like halfway through the day. But this is the first day all school year that he has not off the bat gone to school. He's excited about it. We've just been playing in the basement. You know, it's kindergarten, so he's really not missing that much. It is a little sad because today's like a library day, so he's missing that, but it's all right. So anyway, uh, Porter went to preschool, so he's at school right now because um, he already got strep, so hopefully he doesn't get it again. I guess you probably could get it again, but I'm sanitizing everything again. Avery is napping right now. I'm going to keep it on her. <laughs> they say it's very hard for infants to get strep throat, so I'm hoping that's true. I have something going on. I'm not sure if it's cold or maybe I have strep throat. I'm not really sure, kind of deciding what I want to do about that. It seems like it's more of a cold. Anthony, The kids had it, then Anthony had it. Now I, I'm always last one to get it, so I think I just have a cold, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so that was a crazy turn of events. Ended up getting home at like 9 p.m. last night and got Grayson all settled and he slept and then he took a nap this morning and so we're just taking it easy. We're still eating soft things because he said his, his uh, tooth is, where his tooth is missing is still bothering him. He did get a visit from the tooth fairy, put the tooth under his pillow, so I did take a video of that. So I got he got two dollars because the tooth fairy said he was so brave because the dentist took that tooth out so now he's got lots of money and we're staying in our pjs well gray is at least and we're just chilling for a little bit i have to go get um porter in a little bit and avery will wake up soon but we're just playing in the basement for now um, letting Grayson recover. He'll get more amoxicillin tonight and then hopefully he'll be feeling good by tomorrow to go to school. We'll kind of just see how he's feeling. Um, like I said, 24 hours and he's not contagious anymore. And we do have like a note from the from the urgent care saying that he can attend school on Friday. So we will just kind of see how he's doing. He's supposed to have soccer practice tonight. Obviously, we're not going to go to that. It's raining all day anyway. I bet you it's going to get canceled. Yeah, it stinks, but I guess like I said with Porter, at least it's treatable. Um, it just stinks because it's very contagious. Not surprised that both my kids got it. I was just telling my mom, like, I just need school to be over because we're just getting hit with all this sickness all the time. And I just, we need to stay home or just be outside where the germs leave us alone. So, yeah, that was like the whirlwind of a day. I barely took any videos or pictures. So, so sorry about that. Oh, one more thing, actually. I almost forgot about it. Uh, while I was at the dentist with Porter, I actually got a call from Avery's geneticist. Um, her test results came in. So we had two genetic tests done for Avery. One was a microarray. So they just kind of test for like the most popular kind of genetic diseases. And then one was focused on Noonan syndrome because they thought maybe she had Noonan's. Um, some of her features kind of fit that 
that profile. The geneticist called me and told me the results and it turns out she tested negative for everything. She does not have Noonan's and she does not have anything that the microarray tested her for. So we're basically back at square one. So basically the geneticist was like, well, um, you can continue testing and we could test like di for different things. Maybe it's more broad, maybe it's different. Um, maybe it's something that the microarray didn't test for. Maybe it's more specific. Um, and she said, but also it could just be that Avery's just developing on her own timeline. And if you want to stop testing, we can stop here. So I think we're just going to stop testing her. I kind of feel good in the fact that she doesn't have what we think she had. And I honestly think she's just developing at her own speed. And, you know, five years from now, we're not going to, you know, see any difference in her compared to the other kids. That's the result I wanted. I wanted them to find nothing because I didn't want her to be defined by a, by a genetic disability. I didn't want to know that she was going to have complications down the road in life and things like that. So really, really excited about that. That kind of ends our genetic um, journey for now, I guess. I don't know if we'll pick it up in the future. Um, I guess if new things develop, maybe we will. But as of right now, we're just going to kind of halt, put the brakes on that. Our insurance really doesn't cover the genetic visits anyway. So it just doesn't make sense financially to keep going. Yeah, that was another thing just looped in yesterday. So it just feels like we had one really good thing and then a whole bunch of bad things that happened yesterday. So... Yeah, it was just, that's our crazy life. I really haven't been vlogging much, so I'm so sorry about that. But I hope to bring out the camera one of these days to just capture regular life for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know down below how many sicknesses have your kids gotten this school year. Are you super excited for it to be summer just like I am? Let me know. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>